Mary Merrily Presents Bread and Jam for Francis by Russell Hoban, illustrated by Lillian Hoban. The end. I have been reading this fantastic book and eating bread and jam. Why would I be eating bread and jam? Oh, well, let me tell you. This book is called Bread and Jam for Francis, and it's one of my favorite books from when I was little. It's by Russell Hoban, and the pictures are by Lillian Hoban. 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 They both have the same last name. I wonder if that means that they're related. Maybe they're sister and brother. Maybe they're cousins. Or maybe they're married. That would be something you'd have to figure out. Well, in this book, Bread and Jam for Francis, Francis right here, she's a badger. She loves, loves, I mean loves. Did I say loves? She loves jam. And you're gonna get to hear all about it in this book. And you're gonna get to find out whether she tries any other foods or if she just keeps eating bread and jam forever. Food would you eat if that's all you could eat? Like forever and ever, that was the only food that you could eat. I think I would pick tacos. Mm, I also like pancakes and pizza though. Oh, I don't know. And a really good salad could be good. That would be really hard when you like a lot of different foods. Maybe I'll just have to go with tacos. Well, if you read Bread and Jam and then you come back, you know we're gonna explore this book and go on adventures and have fun because she does do a little more than eat bread and jam. There's a couple other things that Francis likes to do and I can't wait to talk about that with you. But you have to read the book first. So, read this book, come back, we'll make some jam, we'll do some fun activities, we'll explore, we'll go on adventures, and we're gonna use our imaginations. Don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe.